The executive director of the UK's National Repair Association singles out Chinese electric manufacturers and their lack of parts availability. He said, we have repairers that have written off cars for stupid reasons for something that would fly through a body shop if it were a Ford or a GM vehicle. Unfortunately, you just can't get parts. They're not available for that, those vehicles, which I think is ridiculous considering that these are multi-million dollar businesses. There's another barrier too in the Chinese domestic car market. Manufacturer documentation on how to repair vehicles doesn't always exist. It's often the case that there isn't actually uh, an instruction handbook on how to repair Chinese electric cars. This is surprisingly common. Reports have emerged that Chinese electric cars have become almost uninsurable in a lot of countries worldwide, including in particular the United Kingdom. Now, there are problems here in Australia as well. A lot of Chinese EVs, their insurance is extremely expensive and sometimes you, well, won't even get insured. And this is why some insurers are saying, no, we're not interested. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. So there is a story here, guys, on car scoops and on a few different websites in the UK, but it's a broader issue. This is an issue here in Australia as well. Here's the reason why Chinese EVs are well, close to uninsurable in some countries, particularly in the UK, even though there's just nothing wrong with them and they're, they're good cars. Britain has seen an influx of Chinese electric cars, BYD, of course, there's actually quite a few different Chinese EVs. You can buy this MG EVs. There's others that you guys probably haven't even heard of. Britain, for some reason, has been targeted more by Chinese EV companies, a lot more than other places. However, insurers are, well, a lot of them are saying either no to insurance, period, or they're only offering extremely high premium. Chinese EVs are being shunned by insurance companies, particularly in the UK, with many new models being virtually uninsurable, while others have insanely high premiums. The phenomenon is primarily due to fears of one, high repair costs, two, lack of technical information, um, understanding of how to repair them, and three, very long lead times for replacement parts. Now, so these issues don't just apply to Chinese electric cars. They also apply to Chinese-owned internal combustion engine vehicles. They also, there's hugely long lead times. Now, one of my good friends has an LDV, which is basically MG pickup truck. And when he wanted to get, he had to get some paint repaired on it. It was a small scratch on the paint. But the, there's a little plastic trim that goes on the side of the body. Now, you can't actually remove that plastic trim, unlike other cars. But to get that plastic trim, a very small piece of plastic replaced, it took three months for MG in China to send that to Australia. Now, this is very common, very, very common. So you can see how replacement times are a big issue. Cars identified in a report by Auto Express as being challenging or very challenging to insure include the BYD Seal, possibly because of how new it is, the Great Wall Motors or 03, some MG electric cars, and yeah, they, there's actually others as well. You just wouldn't have heard of them. The UK's insurance industry funded risk intelligence company, Thatcham Research, attributes apprehension to the Chinese automakers' lack of understanding of European repair processes. This is a similar challenge to what Tesla has faced as well. Ben Townsend, the head of Thatcham Research, is quick to point out that he feels there's nothing wrong with the cars. Instead, he believes because they're new to market, EV manufacturers haven't appropriately engaged with the insurance industry. And to be honest, the insurers are correct at some level, a lot of them are not holding replacement parts. So this can be a real headache for insurance companies because they've got to deal with claims. If you have to deal with a claim and it takes you one week to process that claim, it's going to cost you a lot less money than it takes three months to process the claim because the part has to be ordered in from China. Uh, China has to manufacture the part. It takes many months to get it and it just goes on forever. You can really see why insurance companies might be reticent to insure 
a product when there's no available replacement parts. And that's obviously the case quite often for new products. Now, there was another report saying that electric car owners face soaring insurance rates in the United Kingdom and in Europe. They're paying double what internal combustion engine vehicles um, are having to pay. There's no real, you know, no real logical reason when you think about it because the cars are going to cost a similar amount to actually replace. But the mentions, I, the reasons I mentioned earlier, are some of the reasons. The message to Chinese organisations and those in India and Vietnam is: don't just bring a car to the UK or to any new car market and think you can sell it. Said the insurance expert. Come and talk to us. Understand the market. Understand the steps you need to take so that when you do bring it to market you have the right logistics in place. We do have an independent repair network that can support your vehicle and make it sustainable in the marketplace. Bring down total cost of ownership and ensure consumers get the choice they deserve and not have to pay thousands and thousands of dollars for insurance. It's not just Chinese EVs though that have been victims of spiraling insurance costs in the UK and in other countries such as Australia. A report earlier this year show that EV users are paying nearly double. And yeah, this is ongoing. It's not just, by the way, for Chinese electric cars, it's also for Tesla electric cars. And in some cases, it's for electric cars from even mainstream automobile makers like Hyundai and BMW. This has become a bit of an EV issue at the moment. It will catch up. I mean, eventually there will be a solution to this problem. But at this point in time, yeah, insurance can be a challenge. It's something worth checking out before you purchase the car. Make sure you don't have to pay an insane amount for the insurance of that vehicle. Thanks for watching.